France banned the wearing of conspicuous religious clothing and symbols in schools in 2004. The government said they had no place in a secular society. As a consequence, Islamic scarves, Jewish skull caps, and oversized Christian crosses can't be brought into the classroom. Muslims make up the second largest religious group in France. Some estimates say 10% of the population. Many felt the 2004 law deprived them of their social rights. Now the government wants to move further. It's considering introducing legislation which would outlaw wearing full-bodied veils in public. If a woman chooses to wear the burqa without pressure from her husband or from any members of the male family, in a democracy, a free country like France, shouldn't she be able to? This is a good question. My answer is that, according to me, our country is a democracy. People are totally free for the way they are uh, implementing their own religion. But the rules of a religion must be subordinated to the laws of the republic. Soraya Kedrich believes distrust of the Muslim community generally has grown enormously since September 2001, and something politicians seem to be exploiting. There is no security if people can go in the street without showing their face. If you want to hide a bomb, are you suggesting that it can only be done inside a burqa and it can't be done in a raincoat? The question is that uh, by the fact that you are hiding your identity and the face is the first part of the identity, of course it's, it's, it's uh, uh, in opposition with the question of security. The punishment for breaking the proposed law is also under discussion. And it's 750 euro maximum. It can be, of course, under it's a proposition, we have to work on that now, you know, it's on, on the table. The main opposition party, the socialists, won't support the government. I don't back this law. The issue is exaggerated and the proposed legislation wouldn't work. So those are the answers, but they're unlikely to sit comfortably in a France whose self-proclaimed values include liberty as well as equality and fraternity. Mark Vossier, Press.